for here today here i keep having uh, issues uh, running away from go to webinar uh, yet i hope the sounds all right and you can uh, understand me clearly clearly also i can see that uh, similar participants arnis i uh, know hey i know it's also back here that's great um, um frankie <clears throat> And of course, my remaining big crowd here, room still filling up. That's good. Arnis, sounds all right. Okay, though, no, cool, great. And video working out. Yes, uh, running away. Also, currently, a bit of a construction work here. So, um, a different office room here uh, for the day. Headline big news, obviously, I would say. And that's uh, seemingly the picture, which is uh, a kind of, uh, and was kind of a bit. Uh, worrisome uh, to uh, quite a few potentially at least it was to me because it sounds a bit like uh, in poland information circulated globally from poland um, that some rockets had been fired seemingly from the russian side towards poland yet uh, obviously the us uh, kind of interesting that uh, first of all there's two two uh, sides involved in the war mainly at least uh, the ukraine and russia and the us uh, talking about uh, who has been doing uh, these attacks and seemingly it was some rockets uh, from soviet made uh, kind of of soviet made materials but seemingly kind of uh, from defense missiles from or defense rockets uh, from uh, the ukrainian side so the situation might come slightly but uh, in france as we can see here uh, was, was saying that hey look guys you know like uh, relax first before uh, things are getting more uh, stuff here in markets obviously panic eases uh, that's uh, one way when one way of uh, viewing it here we can observe that the risk on sentiment is still present in markets actually as of now and that could be kind of uh, quite interesting let's start with the pound yesterday i saw that the pound might have uh, quite a bit of room side to celebrate to the upside i remain a bit uh, limited here right now as i've find that uh, currently with this uh, resistance area and this uh, pin bar candle uh, kind of uh, in the making the market uh, might seemingly favor a bit of a weaker price momentum here uh, first of all that's at least uh, what it looks like when we can kind of, uh, see this market uh, moving so far. I would say there might indeed be some uh, regulations uh, here to offer further weakness in this market here. The question remains though, if this is going to be the case here or if the market uh, would celebrate uh, kind of uh, an uptrend uh, again anytime soon. I would say below the one th uh, 117.35 area, we could see for the market momentum turning this market to the downside again. That's the interesting part, I would say, as a potentially at least a market momentum it could kind of be interestingly enough causing some sort of a weakness here towards a bit of a stronger dollar. Let's assess the uh, US dollar though. Uh, obviously, we have the dollar index which, uh, well, weakened substantially and printed a bit of a pin bar candle here. That's mainly to do, I would say, at least. Um, and let's jump back here, pin bar candle to the opposite side, just due to the euro dollar currency pair. Obviously, the euro dollar also offers uh, some sort of uh, pin bar motivation here. And uh, in this case, might uh, kind of offer us uh, uh, some sort of um, weaker price momentum into the near future with uh, further market prices. And I'm looking at these certain zones here, looking at the left side where the market has touched several times. Uh, then I see that there is some sort of uh, support, recent resistance area, which could kind of cause uh, some sort of further weakness here in the near future. But I would say, of course, entry opportunities here in this market should only be below the uh, pin, or sorry, not below the pin, below the, the body of the candle. And hence, obviously, I would say a further weakness um, uh, here. It could be on the cards, should be at least see that... Um, uh, some sort of uh, uh, further market motivation, uh, further market motivation towards a bit of a stronger uh, dollar uh, favor this market uh, in general. Hence, euro dollar kind of finding a bit of a resistance, pound US dollar finding a bit of a resistance, and that's why the pin bar candle here to me 
has a bit of the say potentially, but needs to be confirmed with the market starting to trade at least beyond the 107 uh, area. Uh, I like the Trading View platform. It's free to use, to be honest uh, here. They have some, uh, some, pay, some paid subscription package here as well, where you can actually have uh, some more analysis. You can have several and different watch lists in this case. But I find the subscription price, uh, as I keep uh, talking about, uh, a bit too high with 20 something euro for a retail trader. For some of you guys, this might just eat up too much uh, of the profits, in particular when you're having some smaller accounts. But in general, it's a great platform. Easy to access from the website, from your mobile, and you can just simply put in any uh, any um, symbols here, and you get a straight information uh, where you uh, get further charting purposes here in this case. And the dollar index is obviously kind of interesting as it gives us a bit of a broader overview on how the dollar might move and where the US dollar might move to in terms of a certain direction. Let's move to the, uh, towards the uh, bond markets. 10-year yields uh, have uh, kind of started to fall slightly uh, further. It was a bit of a retracement overnight, slightly higher, but it looks the, that the yields are slightly pushing uh, to the downside. And that comes obviously also in line with the regular uh, market motivation. Let's have a look at the gold market, actually. No, sorry, one thing. I want to know, I wanted to talk about the Australian dollar before we are moving to gold. Because the Aussie has not really given us uh, some sort of a resistance play in this case, and the Australian dollar uh, keeps on pushing to the upside here. So we can see that the Australian dollar's uh, push or the Australian dollar's advance towards slightly uh, higher levels uh, could be interesting to observe uh, as we might see that this market turns uh, further uh, to the upside here at some point as uh, the market motivation could suggest here for us. Uh, what's the story behind this? I would say the general risk on a market environment is still kind of present and hence uh, that's the interesting part. We don't get the uh, um, confluence here between different currency pairs. The euro now as we speak starting to approach uh, higher levels as well. Maybe this is just a fake pin bar which is why our sell stop orders should only sit below actually the recent body of the candle, right? So the market is retracing. Obviously, if you would enter this market now at a better price when the market is slightly higher, this would give you obviously some sort of an advantage as you might have higher chances to get a higher profit out of it. On the other hand, the issue is and the market might never actually push back to the downside here where we would have our qualified entry in this market here uh, to begin with. The same is true with the pound and obviously the Australian dollar as I said uh, gives us the opposite uh, view here right now that still slightly higher pushing prices and I can see that uh, the support area is kind of the interesting part here right support support and uh, support as well potentially now turning into resistance and that's the key takeaway which I see. Let's have a look if the trend line makes sense. Actually it makes perfect sense to me here. Um, this trend line and that's something interesting for us to observe and consider might be tested. <clears throat> so the current uh, area, the current zone here is, uh, is, still, uh, is still kind of of interest to me. It's a bit of the zone, right? So, and I want to talk about it from this perspective here. I want to see this area as a zone, the supportive range here, this other support area here where the mouse pin is just pointing to right now. So we have a bit of a one or two support zones here. Let's uh, move it towards this area here. And um, we can see that there's a bit of a wider zone where now the market is pushing into as a bit of a potential retracement area. Market was falling, market started to rise again, but while well, we've been rising a fair bit and we could see that the market of these areas here might start to fade again and push again further to the downside here of some sort. So that's the interesting part I see when looking at the Australian dollar and when looking at the general US dollar movement. So still it's positive and the market keeps on pushing higher which should be also the positivity. And now we're coming to stock markets, uh, which uh, supports uh, potentially at least the stock market momentum, as we can understand here uh, in this case, uh, uh, quite a fair a bit. The S&P looking still kind of positive. The uh, German DAX is again starting to break beyond the highs. So that looks uh, quite good uh, as well. The NASDAQ keeps on pushing slightly uh, higher, also looking quite uh, positive. Now do I have the uh, Dow Jones here, seemingly not right now. 
let me observe if it's hidden behind here. No, maybe it's just somewhere smaller. But um, again, we can observe that uh, definitely the uh, key takeaway is that the stock markets in general are of uh, positivity here right now. And of course, uh, something what we can see is uh, definitely uh, uh, as well regarding the uh, gold price. We saw that uh, uh, yields in the US are turning slightly lower bond yields obviously and the devaluation of the us dollar could be something interesting and let's have a look at silver right now the silver market keeps on pushing to the upside it had retraced a little bit uh, say overnight last night uh, a bit of a, a weakening momentum here i would say it has to do with the if i need to find a search for an explanation it has to do potentially um, with the uh, um, with the us dollar strength which uh, uh, pushes uh, the silver market slightly lower Again, the gold market as well is looking kind of okay as here and as well has been pushing a market momentum towards slightly lower areas in this case. But gold trading steady, and that's the key takeaway here um, for me. Uh, I'm, on the wrong, I'm at the wrong meter trader here. Now I can see I have different profiles on this meter trader comparing to the other one. That's why not all the charts are in there since my extra screen is uh, not attached nevertheless so we can observe and i would ex expect as well um, that uh, the gold market is kind of interesting the physical demand according to several sources um, um, is uh, uh, still uh, kind of uh, rising again and uh, it was rising uh, about 28 percent the 20 percent in the third quarter um, comparing to the year uh, prior which is uh, kind of interesting if you're considering 2021 was a bullish market year and we can see now of course a bearish market momentum so far since the beginning of the year obviously causes uh, as well the demand in gold rising somehow higher and uh, obviously the market motivation as gold has kind of fallen a fair bit it seems to now uh, change direction uh, back to the upside i still stay with the same approach i still like gold a fair bit or well, quite a lot as always but um, uh, silver i would say uh, might have uh, a bit of a higher move potentially though it's a bit retracing and it's a clear zone the zone which i talked about yesterday the previous support zone of this market now turning this uh, as uh, into a resistance area could be quite interesting obviously as the market motivation uh, keeps on uh, pushing towards uh, potentially a slightly higher areas at some point but um, at the moment of course we can observe that the, the resistance area uh, might last and uh, might not give the market any strong competitive advantage but we have to see on how the market motivation goes in the next uh, a couple of uh, trading days back to our open positions and i'm not sure if i have it even on here the euro against the new zealand dollar that's the only trade uh, i have on uh, currently this week has been a uh, great sorry that, that last week not this week last week has been a uh, great with our gold and euro dollar long trade uh, the pound us dollar trade uh, the long trade i closed as i feel we had the long uh, position open here i opened that one uh, yesterday i feel that ah, the market might just uh, turn back to the downside hence a bit too risky when the market is jumping around and finally maybe deciding for some other direction but the euro new zealand dollar still looks quite sweet here that's another nice opportunity i find off the weekly chart bearish push resistance retracement bearish push resistance retracement and now maybe another bearish push here towards some lower levels where i can see that the gold sorry the euro new zealand dollar might still turn somehow lower either way i still see if the risk on a market environment can of stays in the market at some point still further meaning risk on stock markets higher aussie higher new zealand dollar higher i think the new zealand dollar might have a bit of an advantage here over the euro and hence obviously cause this market to turn to the downside here as we can observe as well it's a bit of a zigzag sideways zone here after a high point market retraced pushing higher retracement pushing higher and now we might be in for like a bit of a retracement whereas the entire zone as we can observe and i'm sure that you would arguably arguably also see the same here is a bit of a sideways trading box right despite the lows here at the bottom we can say or we can see that the market has kind of traded in a wide support resistance zone where the market maybe only went towards the center line of this trading box but quite often as well went higher and i would say there might be some arguments here for some falling price action in the near future that's mostly 
it's from my side. I'm just thinking, what else do we have here in markets? We talked about the rockets uh, um, shot into, sadly, two people died, I've heard, uh, regarding this incident uh, in uh, Poland. Um, uh, we got the information still. Uh, Bankman Fried, um, the FTX brokerage company, uh, turning uh, upsides down, basically, seemingly not really working out. Uh, um, Xi Jinping um, is getting more comfortable without a mask, as we understand. Uh, that's something interesting in the, the G20 meeting in Bali, Indonesia, where they are uh, kind of gathering currently, where seemingly this could be also something where the government, the Chinese government, will review and adjust the COVID, the zero COVID policy and um, causing a potential opening for the economy in China. So economically, that should be also positive for China. And the Chinese stock market, actually, as we reported yesterday, and kind of still growing as well, the one at least traded in Hong Kong. Guys, happy trading. That's my take for now. I think we are pretty clear for the day, uh, for the time being here. Talk to you soon with further updates over Telegram. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.